Hey, what's going on guys? It's Anthony with the Wrenched Out Reviews, where we give you guys real and honest feedback on products that we test and show you guys. So today we're gonna to be diving into an add-on for your Gen 2 PMAG, so stay tuned. Right, guys so thank you for tuning in today we've got a nice little add-on for your PMAG now there's a lot of options out there on the market we'll put some of those links down below if you're interested in those and everybody knows that there's Ranger plates there's the, just the standard hoops and a lot of other options and alternatives for your PMAG now I've got a couple examples of some PMAGs right here this is just your standard PMAG this is your windowed PMAG um, we use PMAGs actually not only in the Ruger 5.56, and obviously, just to make the point, there's no ammunition, no ammunition in the magazines or anywhere else on the table, but we use these not only in the Ruger 5.56, we also use them in some of our other guns we use. Fantastic build, Magpul's got it dialed in. Now, <clears throat> if you know, you can obviously change out this bottom plate. There's a lot of options. We're gonna put some of those down below. Um, but the plate itself is not a bad plate. It's just your standard flat plate. It does clip in um, using the tension from the spring inside of the magazine. So they're fairly simple and intuitive when you go and want to change them. Now, why did we want to change them? Well, we wanted a different look. We wanted to add a little bit of pizzazz, I guess, to them. So what we did was we ordered the MP Mag Pods. And so it's, as it says right there, monopod, index point, and mag identifier. So you can actually, when you're using the firearm, you can sit, ease it on. If you're sitting at a stand, you can ease it on there. Um, it's a little bit bigger and it has a couple of different points. So this comes in a three pack. We'll put the links to this down below, but let's take a look at it real quick. I already did an install on to the windowed mag. So there it is right there. Take a look at that bad boy versus the standard. So there you go. That's the difference in them. Obviously, it adds quite a bit of uh, character and of course, you can actually use it now. Um, and obviously you could have used this too, but this gives you more of a flat surface. So if you wanna sit it on the bench, it's like that. Now let's talk about swapping these guys out. All you're really gonna need in this case or really any other case with the PMAGs, it's very simple. So if you see that colored, you can either press it in there or there is a tab located in the back, you can press it in. But for the sake of this one, you'll wanna make sure and have your, whatever you're gonna replace it with. Obviously we're gonna replace it with this bad boy right here. Have that in your hand. It should only take a couple of seconds. Push that in and it slides. You'll wanna keep some Keep your thumb on it or something on it so you don't lose the spring out. And also, if you're gonna clean your magazines, pull, you can obviously pull it out all from the bottom. So there's the plate. Let me put that down real quick. Keep my finger on it. And then the same way that you took it off, you're gonna just replace it back in. So there it is, halfway slid in. You'll hear it snap just like you did, and that's it. So there it is. Obviously this comes with a three pack. Most PMAG owners, especially for a 5.56, um, you have multiple. So I would suggest if you're looking at doing it, at least get a three pack. There it is on the rifle. That's what it looks like. It does add a little bit of depth to it. Adds a little bit more character. So now you can rest it and then go to the range and shoot it. So again, the weapon is not loaded, there's no ammunition in the area. Super simple install, takes a couple of seconds, a flathead screwdriver, you could do it with a pocket knife, whatever it is you have available. And again, this is the uh, MagPod right here. Link to this is down below if you're interested in their, this product. I will try to find some of the other products that are available. Um, I have ran the Ranger loops that Magpul makes. I wasn't a huge fan of them because they kind of sit on there. They're kind of, they, they just weren't the best product that I could find. I do like these so far. 
Um, I am gonna take them out to the range and you guys will be more than welcome to check that video out once we get out there. So that's pretty much it. These are uh, in the 20 to $30 range for a three pack. Um, so it's just a nice addition to your current P mags. So that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this very simple add on takes a couple of seconds. Links are down below. And of course, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure hit that subscribe button, share the video. Let's uh, keep doing cool add ons and small builds just like this. We do have a lot of other great uh, firearm related content coming out. If you guys haven't seen some of our other videos like our EDC or our concealed carry tips, make sure and check the Rinsed Out Experiment channel out, Rinsed Out Reviews playlist. So of course, if you're firing uh, or if you're handling firearms, make sure there's no ammunition in the area unless you're somewhere safe or at a gun range. So we do appreciate you guys checking it out. And don't forget we're on Facebook, Instagram, and everywhere else. So until next time, guys, Take care, be safe, and don't mishandle your firearm.